Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today, I want to test the newest meta model, AI model, which is Llama 3.1. And there are two different kinds of variants and I'm using Open Router and my AI Mastery app to access them and to see if they are good conversational rights, right? So what I've set up is a really simple flow to test it. And that is, I'm asking a question, I'm getting a response, and then I'm going to get a certain reply back and I can go back and forth to have a nice conversation. Inside the AI Mastery app that I built and also released for the Chapel Marketing Accelerator membership, that basically gives you access to pretty much all the AI models, right? Over 190 different kinds of models, if you include Open Router, because they have a lot. So if we're going to take a look there, so if I'm going to open my mini app, you will see that under the Open Router model, uh, you have access to a lot of different kinds of models. And here we will have uh, the newest one, so Meta Llama 3.1 a 70 billion instruct and we also have the 3.18 billion instruct right so the 3.18 billion is a little bit faster in its replies but let's test both of them um so yeah so let's get to that so i have a really simple system message i have a persona you are chat then the role so you are to engage the user in small talk and make it a fun conversation and then i have some guidelines so do not summarize the user's answers only respond to it and nothing else some models uh, on their open router or AI in general, like to summarize the user's reply as well and then give their own answer, but that uses up a lot of unneeded tokens as well. And that brings more cost, which is basically useless, right? So I added that guideline, uh, be curious, ask questions to keep the conversation going, add fitting emojis, replying first person. And that is pretty much it. So let me also set the max output tokens to 500, just to keep the conversation going properly. And let's preview this. Let's see what we get, right? So the first one will be a static message, a static answer uh, or question that is being asked. Um, but let's see what we will get. How can I help? Hi, how are you today? So let's see what we get here. And it should reply within three to five seconds in most times, as you can see here. Um, not bad, just got back from a sick hike. The views were insane. Did you do anything exciting this weekend? So this is already a really fun conversation because if I would use OpenAI, you will get a different kind, right? So I will also do that. I will replicate my flow, basically my questions that I'm doing with the Meta Llama model, and then also use GPT-4 to see the differences between the replies. So let's say, did you do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I was working on improving my AI Jebel builds. So let's see what kind of reply we get. Again, it takes about three to five seconds. And then we have something here already. Whoa, that's cool. I'm more of a play with AI kind of guy myself. And I'm sure it's a lot of fun to build and improve them. What kind of projects uh, are you working on with your Jebel? Are you trying to make it more conversational like us? I am indeed focused on making fun conversations. Any tips you can give me to optimize my prompts? Let's see if it can also give some feedback and see what kind of tips it could give, right? So let's see. Ah, nice. Coincidence, I'm all about having fun conversations too. Uh, okay, so some tips for optimization prompts. Hmm, I found that asking open-ended open questions like I'm doing now can really get the conversation flowing and using fl and using emojis like I am can add a fun touch. What kind of tone are you aiming for with your chatbot? Do you want to be it more serious or informative or playful or answer sarcastic, right? So you can see that it is a really conversational type of a back and forth between the user and the AI. I really like this because without too much guidelines needed to be set up inside the actual prompt, we are basically already having a really, really good conversation. So let's go back towards the action and then switch the model. So let's go with OpenAI GPT-4 Mini. So let's go with this one. And let's ask the exact same questions. So let's preview the flow again. And also let me clear the chat history. That's also important uh, because otherwise it would retain the uh, conversation and the type of replies from the meta model which is not advised because we want to have a clean test right so let's preview it so i'm going to ask the exact same question hi how are you today and let me see what kind of reply we get here not bad at all just come back from the beach and i'm feeling pretty stoked how about you did you do anything exciting this weekend so that is pretty well that's pretty similar right 
So let's go with this one. Let's see how it responds. So let's go with this. And we, here we got something like, whoa, that's cool. I'm more of a play with AI kind of guy myself. So let's see. Whoa, that's awesome. You're a tech whiz. I've been, I've always been fascinated by AI. What made you get into chapel building? Are you working on anything super cool that you can share with me? So you can see that the replies are really similar towards OpenAI in this case. I'm pretty surprised by the way that I get these kinds of replies from OpenAI without adding too much guidelines because yesterday I got different kinds of replies. So I'm actually a little bit uh, surprised by this, but positive surprise, right? But you can see how nice of a conversation you can basically do with the newest Llama models, right? Uh, let me also try the Llama model. Uh, let's see the newest one with 70 uh, billion instruct, which is a little bit heavier, uh, but let's see how that performs. So let's go and delete the chat history again. Just wanted to make sure that we don't have any, um, basically any caching involved. So I'm also going to refresh the page and then I'm going to preview again. So again, let's just copy this. Let's go with, hi, how are you today? Right. So let's see what kind of reply we get back. I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Just got back from a sick hike over the weekend and I'm still buzzing from the views. How about you? So it seems that it's a little bit programmed to respond the same, which is fine, which is fine. Um, so let me also copy this and let's see what kind of reply we get here. And again, the model is pretty fast as well for these kinds of conversations. So that's a good thing. So that's awesome. awesome. I've always been fascinated by AI and machine learning. What kind of chatbots are you building? Are they for customer service or something more fun like conversational game? I'm curious to know more about your project. So what I actually like about the other model, so the 8 billion, right? If we go back, you can see that it's asking more engaging open-ended questions. So the model, if we go back with the Llama 3.1 8 billion instruct, is actually performing better in my opinion. We also have the Llama 3.1405 billion. So that's even more. So, <laughs> so let's see how that performs, right? Um, let's just publish. Let's just delete the bot user entirely. That's just as easy. And then let's refresh the flow itself. Let's then preview it to see if it makes any difference in the reply. So I'm just going to go with, hey, how are you today? Hi, how are you today? And let's see what kind of conversation we get then. I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Just had an awesome cup of coffee and I'm feeling energized. How about you? How's your day going so far? So that's a nice reply as well. So let's say, um, I am doing good. Having fun uh, optimizing my AI setups. So let's see what it replies with now. That sounds like a blast. I'm curious what kind of set AI setups are you working with? Are you building something from scratch or tweaking existing models? This is really, really good as well. So I'm really happy with these kinds of replies. This is, this is really a model that you can implement inside of a conversational chatbot, right? And uh, later on, later this week, or basically the week after, I will also test the logics. So can it also handle more in-depth logics when trying to build a little bit more advanced kind of chatbots, right? But for now, the results are pretty good, pretty uh, conversational, fun, engaging, interactive, and it keeps the conversation going, which is a really, really good thing because this allows the AI to really bond with the user, the potential lead, the potential customer for your business, and basically convert that later into an actual sale maybe, right? Or offer something like a lead magnet. So really, really positive feedback so far from me. Again, next week, early next week, I will go into more advanced setups with different kinds of models, compare them uh, one by one and see how they stack up that way. If you did like this video, I would appreciate it if you would give it a like because it will help me reach more people that way and share the love about conversational marketing. For now, have a great day, take care and talk soon.